For over 150 years, the flame safety lamp provided light and was used as the only reliable way to test for the presence of methane in a mine. There is no doubt of its importance and its value. It was designed to prevent a methane explosion from propagating away from the lamp. Davy found that when conducting his experiments, a methane explosion would extinguish when it passed over metal surfaces. The high thermal conductivity of the metal would cool the temperature of the flame of the explosion to below the ignition temperature of the gas and the explosion would extinguish. Hence, lamps were developed which surrounded the flame with a metal gauze. When an explosion would occur in the lamp, the flame would be cooled by the gauze and not propagate the explosion outside of the lamp. At Mara 4, the explosive mixture ignited in the lamp was methane and coal dust, which was found to have a wider explosive range and lower ignition temperature than methane alone. When scientifically examined, the lamp was found to have dust infused on the inside glass of the lamp. The gauze of the lamp had been exposed to temperatures of approximately 900 degrees. The gauzes were not able to cool the flame to prevent the explosion from propagating away from the lamp. The gas and dust explosion initiated near the shuttle cars and ultimately a larger coal dust explosion further out by along the main dips roadways.